<laughs> Hi, my name is Joseph Kamaru, a field and sound artist based in Nairobi, Kenya. And today I'll be showcasing my process for ADE Amsterdam Dance Festival. And my process using field recordings and sounds collected in the field today. And also layering them with other instrument sounds which I have here, like the Lira 8, the Mood, and messing around with my push. At the moment, we are in my studio, my bedroom, where I make my music. And yeah, today has been an exciting day. Being in the field from dawn, maybe 6.30 a.m. in the morning, and driving to different locations, more of investigating and finding like spaces where I can capture sounds, I can capture sounds and hopefully make something from the sounds which I've collected and also it's been super adventurous today um I think one of my I can call it one of my favorite f field trips I've done um I drove we drove together with my friends <coughs> um on Magadi road like off the city collecting sounds and stopping at different places and also um one of the cars broke down and ended up um, spending more than an hour trying to fix the tire. But the whole experience was also good and yeah, I'm super excited to see how this day will turn out and also what I'll make and yeah, super excited just to be here back home and listening back to some of the 
field recordings of recorded and yeah i'm impressed and yeah i don't know what i'm going to make but yeah um, i'm going to have fun <laughs> before i make something new from the field recordings we've collected today i've collected today um i'm going to show you one of my old projects <coughs> continual which i made earlier this year and also uses field recordings which i collected some from friends because i remember this track i made um a friend of mine called claudia sent me this recording um she was on commute i think maybe somewhere in london or new york and she sent me a train field recording which i just used as the basis of the project maybe i can just play the the field recording the chains the chain sound and on its own So that's the 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 field recording or the the sound which which she sent um to me just like through WhatsApp then I added when she sent me this I decided to to write something basing like the sounds from this field recording and this project looks super organized um compared to like the rest of my other works but I'll just play all the field recordings. So there's the field, field, and there's field two. All these are just um, sounds either collected by me. This first one called Walker's Mend Cobblestone and Street. And there's the train one then in the latter part of the track there is also there's also water sounds um most of these are mine and i think these were collected in lamo um the beautiful thing about like sounds which i collect even if i don't rename them or like um like um listen back to them and try and figure out or just like how do i how do i put it i making them like a reference where i can remember where i collected this when i play the sound and like try and listen to where i collect the sound i remember the location and that's the beautiful thing about capturing sound or being in the field collecting the sounds and yeah from the field recordings um i had i have a group of pads so many pads <laughs> and now all this together played with the field recordings oops and and the pads all this part the just labs i use labs by spitfire a lot for pads and sounds and more pads and bass sounds from contact and omnisphere and and i have loops which are just i can just see these are randomly played on my on my push here and all this comes together 
with the whole track together, which is super. I really enjoy, I enjoyed making this. I remember I made this like during the night and I released it during the first Black Bandcam, Black Bandcam Friday, maybe in March. And the whole track was mastered by Simon Scott, who did like a really great job on this piece of music. Yeah. And that's basically it for like this approach um, using sounds um, or using field recordings. This one is more of like cutting different samples or different sections of the samples and layering them together just to create like an ambience or like crowd for the for the other instrumental parts of the of the track. Um, yeah, that's it for continual. It's out on my band come for for today's project. I'll I'll just listen through the sounds I collected today, and my most interesting ones were the ones under the bridge. Um, I thought that would be when cars pass by, um, like on the on top of the bridge. I thought it'd be interesting, but it wasn't what I was thinking. But there were like rocks under the bridge, and <coughs> they have this um, resonating sort of reverb sort of sounds from from themselves. Like when I was rolling the the stones or the rocks, there's this resonance being created by the stones and yeah, just being under the bridge. Another sound which I re remember, um, which was also interesting, were maybe the B sounds. The B sounds were, were were nice because they're like super stereo and yeah. I'd, 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 I'd use that as a basis to create something new. Mm. I also collected some, I was listening, I didn't record that. Um, I I did record with my Soma Ether microphone, which records electromagnetic sounds. And under this cable of wires, there are super interesting sounds, which I didn't record, but I just listened, I think. That was also interesting. Yeah, there's a lot. This I have like this folder here, which I've just moved from my laptop from the card, and has almost 52 sounds, like field recordings for for today. I think I'll, I haven't edited or listened to everything. These are just few of them, which um could be a basis of a new track.
So I just got this new plugin software or here yeah, Max device called Drain Scanner and <clears throat> one of the sounds which I collected from today, like the under the bridge sound, um, I just put the sample inside the scanner like the grain processor and layered on top of the of the main sound and I've duplicated this, this so I can just extend it then I listen to like different sounds from today just randomly and just add Sounds nice, so I'll just lay it as it is. I won't do so much, um, like in the sound. This is the thing sometimes I just won't alter with the field recording itself and just leave it as it is, um, because I feel the environment outside also has something to stay to say, and yeah, I'll just have it maybe even, um not EQing it or just like leaving it the as natural as it, as as I recorded it yeah So I'll, I'll add a more synthetic sound or a more layer to to the sounds itself and yeah just see like different textures which I can get out, out of what already like collected then I can later layer like jam with Lyra and yeah just keep layering to create something new. I think this track will be maybe four minutes and 20 seconds because I'll use this field recording number 46 as like the basis of this this piece yeah and it will be easier when now just like layering more sounds and putting more sounds from like the Lyra yeah Let me let me try use this.
mm, a lot of my pieces have been I've been using Lira for for more drone stuff and and noise from from the instrument itself and yeah I'll just try and layer some few pads or noises on top of this few sounds I've collected and make something yeah um so I've just like grouped the entire sounds um I'll come back to that create a new channel for for the lira so I'll, I have I have to tune it first so I'll just play the field recordings and play different sounds on this So I'll just hit record and play around with this tone. I just did uh, it's almost like five minute um, maybe jam <laughs> but I'm going to layer more sounds from it because the instrument itself has just created uh, a base for for this piece for this track and yeah the more I add like the sounds I collected today and the more I, I blend them together and mesh them with this, with the lira, I can already like know or like hear what should be added because the instrument is super noisy and the beautiful thing about the lira, you have to like maybe connect with it and also tune it. Um, yeah, so I just tuned like uh, five and six and yeah so in my mind after playing this um, improv like five minute drone sound um, I knew what I should do next after this so I'll just tune it from what I played and maybe a higher pitch and layer that on top of the main sound yeah
So I'll record this. I'll add the B sounds and I think I can finish off with that then because I know I, I might take so much time trying to like layer more sounds because also while I'm mixing I I, will, I can I tend to like add more sounds and more instruments because um, I'm not like first arranging then I mix then I'm usually sort of sometimes all over the place where the track for me, like the basis of the track itself, is sort of finished. Like when I mix this together and like try and balance everything and add more few sounds to this, I can I can have like a, a very sound oriented soundscape of like the different field recordings and also like sounds and melodies from the lira but I feel I might like evolve this track as it is to 
maybe more sounds itself and yeah because basically i just layer a lot and create different sound sort of like sound designing within like the space i have to create something and yeah just as i did on the lira just playing from from the first minute to like five minutes and just seeing what will happen and that's what i've done also with one of the recordings from the bridge and i put it in the granular synthesis and played now the the recording as an instrument itself yeah i think i'll just add the the b sounds which which like which which i recorded the last ones where the bees came and this will just create a more sort of a wider stereo field for this um, 